thousands of homes remain without power across Scotland after Storm Arwen left a trail of damage in its wake. In some areas hot food and drinks are being supplied to people who have spent two nights without electricity. Three people were killed across the UK during the extreme weather, which triggered the Met Office's highest red level storm warning. Fallen trees and debris also caused delays and disruption across the transport network. Scottish and Southern Electricity Networks SN, said the north of Scotland remained at red alert status as 52,000 homes and businesses remain without supply while SP Energy Networks said 12,000 customers were still affected mainly in Dumfries, Fife, and Lothian and Borders. Among the SN areas without power overnight were Bonscade, Cashiel, Errol, Glen Eagles, Kellen, Meriton, Millithort, Redgorton, and Turriff. The utility company has set up a number of welfare facilities to provide residents with hot food and drinks. Other areas affected include Aboyne, Ballader, Bremer, Glenshee, Keme, Whitehouse, Mossat, Strafton, and parts of rural Moray. Mark Gruff, Director of Customer Operations at SN, said, We would like to apologize once again to all customers who have been impacted by Storm Arwen and thank our customers for their continued patience and understanding. We would also like to thank our resilience partners for supporting a multi-agency response to what has been one of the most significant weather events we have experienced in decades. An SP Energy Network spokesman said, The storm brought down many trees and coupled with wind-borne debris has caused significant damage to our overhead line network. Access is also being hampered by significant road closures in many areas. Where possible we are keeping our customers up to date with our progress and engaging with our most vulnerable customers to offer them additional support if needed. Across the UK, three men were killed by falling trees during the storm. The 35-year-old driver of a pickup truck was fatally injured on Friday afternoon in Aberdeenshire, while head teacher Francis Lagan died in Antrim and another man was killed in Cumbria. Many areas, particularly the east coast of Scotland, suffered storm damage and travel disruption as a result of the high winds. Scott Rail said the following routes remained suspended on Sunday. Edinburgh, North Berwick slash Dunbar, Dundee, Aberdeen. Aberdeen, Inverness, Wick, Inverness services bypassing Thurso. Dumfries, Kilmarnock. On Saturday Network Rail shared a picture captured from a helicopter of a tree blocking both lines near Earl, west of Dundee. It described the overnight situation as one of the most challenging in recent memory.